Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Takancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller here in a 2021 Ford F-150. So the P3 is going to be a great addition to your F-150 here if you don't already have a factory brake controller installed on the vehicle. So a trailer brake controller is going to allow you to control the brakes, the electric brakes on a trailer from inside the cab of the vehicle. So all your larger trailers with those seven-way trailer connectors, most of them are going to require an electric trailer brake controller, which is where the P3 comes into play. So this is probably one of the most long-standing trailer brake controllers on the market. Takancha has an excellent reputation, it is making some very quality brake controllers that are going to last for time to come. This one, in fact, has a lifetime warranty. So there's many reasons why people love the P3, not only its longevity and its durability, it's very easy to use and it has a ton of great settings. So the P3 is actually a proportional brake controller and what a proportional brake controller is, is basically it's going to apply the brakes in an amount on the trailer proportional to that how we're applying them into the vehicle. So if we compare this to the other style, which is a time delay, a time delay is going to send a set amount of force to the trailer's brakes depending on what settings you select here when we press the brake pedal in the vehicle and there's also a little bit of delay. A proportional controller it's going to apply those brakes right away on the trailer so we're going to get the fastest response time and again we don't have to worry about fine tuning our setups for that trailer there because it's going to do this in an amount proportional to that we're applying them into the vehicle. So this is the main screen of our trailer brake controller when we have it hooked up and we'll show you how easy it is to use. So on the left here we have these up and down arrows. This allows us to set our output of the brake controller. So our output is going to be how much force we're sending back to the trailer brakes there. So for your lighter trailers, you'll turn that down. And then for your heavier trailers, you'll turn that up. And what's great about the P3 is that you can actually pre-save settings to a couple different trailers. Therefore, if you have multiple trailers and you've already adjusted the brakes accordingly for that trailer, you just get in, select that trailer from the list there, and you're ready to go. Now on the right here, we have a couple more buttons. Down here we have our menu button, so we can actually make some adjustments to the display here. We can change the brightness, we can change the color of this little backlight here, we can also change the contrast. So a lot of people mess with that if they do a lot of night driving with their trailer hooked up there, they don't want that bright light shining them in the face, so they could easily just go there and turn that down. Or if it's a super sunny day, they could just turn the brightness up. Also, we're gonna have an ability to select our brake type. So the P3 is compatible with both electric trailer brakes as well as electric over hydraulic brakes. And then we also have a few other things that we can mess with in here, such as the help section. You can change the language, troubleshooting, as well as contacting Takancha directly. Now our P3 also has a boost feature. So on the upper right hand corner, we can actually increase the boost here. So there's actually going to be three different settings there and the boost is basically going to control how fast you get on the trailer brake. So you're going to be turning that up for your higher trailers or you're going to have it turned off or at a lower setting for your lighter trailers. Now on the bottom here, we're going to have our manual override. So the manual override is pretty much used on every trailer brake controller and I really like the manual override on this one. It's very easy just to hit with one finger here. It gives us a nice audible click there and we have some nice texture here so we're not slipping off it. So when you're out on the highway, you start to get some trailer sway, you need to get the trailer under control. We'll just easily hit that manual override to get everything back in line. So in summary, if you're looking for a reliable brake controller with a good reputation on the market, look no further than the P3. This is probably the most common one out there just because again, they've spent many years developing the reputation of being a very durable product that's gonna be with you for time to come. The brake controller also has a lifetime warranty. So even if you get rid of your truck, you can take it with you to a new vehicle. So now that we've gone over the brake controller a little bit, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to install here on this F-150. So the first step for our installation today, we're going to take our brake controller here and we're going to go ahead and attach our mounting body that just simply slides over it and then it's going to lock into place on either side like so. So once we have that on there, we need to find a place to mount your brake controller. Now this can sort of mount at a pivot angle here. So according to the instructions, we can mount this so it's tilted up or down or vice versa. However, what we can't do is mount it so it's not in line with our direction of travel. So we can't have it pointed this way or pointed this way. 
Now there's really not a ton of spots to mount this on this vehicle, uh, but we did still find a good one. Chances are you guys are going to use this one as well. If you find a different one that works better than you, you're free to use that. But I think I'm going to mount ours right over here, just kind of above where your right knee would be. Um, this shouldn't give you too many issues getting out and in and out of the truck and you shouldn't need to worry about banging your knee on this because your accelerator pedal is going to be down there. So we're going to go ahead and mount ours about right in here. So in order to get that started, you're actually going to take a bracket that comes in your kit here. It looks like this. So this bracket is going to get drilled into the dash there using our self-tapping screws. And then it's going to get screwed in to the bracket that we just installed in our brake controller. So let's go ahead and get this one installed. And then we can attach this bracket to the one in our brake controller. So I went ahead and already checked behind this panel here to make sure we weren't going to be drilling into anything. But once you've done that, just take your self-tapping screws that come in your kit and attach your bracket. Now you do again want to make sure that this is as straight as possible here because that could then in turn affect your direction of travel. So once you're happy with the position of that, we'll go ahead and take our brake controller here. So there's two little standoff tabs there. They're going to attach inside the tabs here using these self-tapping screws that come in your kit. So we're having a bit of trouble trying to get our other screw in there just because it's so close to the panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a trim panel tool and I'm going to release some of the clips here at the top. That way I can pull this panel down here and I can get my screw in a lot easier. So now that I have that on there, I'll go ahead and pop the clips back in place here. So now's a good time to make some adjustments to the angle of your brake controller. So you wanna be able to see it there. So I'm just gonna angle it down a little bit and that's gonna be visible from when I'm sitting in the driver's seat. So now that we've got our brake controller mounted up here, we're ready to plug it into the vehicle. So with your brake controller here, you don't actually get the vehicle specific wiring harness you need to install on this vehicle. So you will need two parts. You're gonna need the brake controller itself and then you're gonna need the specific adapter that goes to the vehicle. So it's gonna plug into the brake controller end and it's gonna also gonna plug into the vehicle end. So that's gonna be a specific part number for this brake controller and this vehicle, which we offer here at eTrailer. So this is what the one for the F-150 actually looks like here. This black end is gonna plug into our brake controller and this gray end is gonna plug in to the factory brake controller port on this vehicle, which we'll show you now. So the brake controller location on the 21 F-150 is going to be down here on the driver's side behind this panel here. So this is your uh, driver's side kick panel and it's actually plugged into a false plug on the vehicle. So it's kind of easy to overlook because it's into that dummy plug there. You would normally just think it's plugged into a device it needs to go into. So let's go ahead and give you a closer look at that now so we can show you how to release it from the dummy plug. So we're underneath the dash here and all the way to the side of the wall here is going to be our factory dummy plug. So this is what the actual connector looks like. It's gray and it's rectangular. If we just depress this tab here, we should be able to pull out. And right away, you're going to see a rather thick blue wire, a yellow wire with a red or orange stripe. Those are both very large wires. And you're going to get two smaller wires here, a black with a green, and then a gray with an orange. So we're going to go ahead and just unplug that. And then this is actually just going to match up perfectly with the end from our brake controller harness. So you'll know it's the right one because these two are just going to plug in and click into place. So now the other end here of our harness is this connector. This is actually just going to plug into the bottom of our brake controller. Just like that. So now you can see we have some wire hanging down here. We obviously don't want to just leave that there. It's going to get caught up in our brake and our accelerator pedal. So I'm going to take some zip ties and I'm going to clean this up to make our wire out of our way here so it's not a safety issue. So now that we have all of our wiring cleaned up, that's pretty much it for your installation. You want to go ahead and verify that you have power to the brake controller after plugging it in. And that's going to be done by just seeing a blue screen here. If you guys don't have power to the brake controller, make sure you check the engine bay fuse block to make sure that there is a fuse installed in the trailer brake controller location there. If you need further clarification on that, be sure to reference your owner's manual. But that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Decancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller here on a 2021 Ford F-150.